Hey, Stephanie from the Doc Squad, sharing with you a really engaging activity. You can have your students participate in either individually or collaboratively. It's called Act It Out or Scene Stealers. Same name, um, same activity, sorry, but different name. Uh, so you'll notice that there are three elements here. You have the background image, placeholders, and numbers. What the students are doing is maybe at the top of your lesson as part of the bell ringer, they're going to personify the inanimate objects. For example, number two, you'll notice that there's a cell phone. Number four, you notice that there's a building and as well as a protest sign. And then they're going to um, give voice to them. Um, this also works with the people that are in the image. So say, for example, number five, you have this lady but then you also have this PPE, this facial mask that she has covering partially her face. So the students are going to use this as an opportunity to look at an engaging, um, thought-provoking image. This works really well with fine art, so you can incorporate this into ELA, into social studies, into science, it could be a nature scene. Um, so it works well with a whole uh, gamut of different kind of images. So once they're looking at the different elements and giving voice to them, they're going to use that to have a really intriguing conversation, right? And then maybe you'll go, go on with continue to read your book. In our case, we're reading Dear Martin by Nick Stone. And this is a protest um, that took place in Lafayette Park in Washington, D.C., nation's capital, during the time of the international protest that erupted around the world. So how do you create this? Very simple is you're going to go into your slide and edit master. And all we're doing is building this out using three components. So super simple. So the first thing is you're going to drag and drop an image as your background. So it actually started off as a plain white background. So you're going to just put your image on top of that, get rid of any of the text boxes that might already be there, okay? Then number two, you're gonna go in and you're going to insert a text box and place those wherever you would like. Let's say, for example, we have this one. I like to put in a, a background color so that it really pops out. And then the last thing is we're going to put in what's called a placeholder. So again, they're doing this in Google Slides. What's really awesome about that is then when you send this out to the students in, say, Google Classroom and you assign this to them, you can do this so that they are not able to edit it so that whatever they see on there, they will only be able to, if you give them the opportunity to complete it as a task, they can go in and add in their placeholders, but they can't change the actual layout. So these um, items stay fixed in place. Um, so that's really great for all age groups, but especially your younger ones are the ones that are not really technology savvy. So it kind of holds their information. So with the placeholders, super simple, uh, you go into that insert placeholder. And then once that's in, you can change the font on that. What I like to do is I like to go in and put a background color. So that pops just like the number. So that's pretty much it. Super simple activity. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you liked it, please make sure that you complete the feedback form and then I'll send out to you this copy and you can modify it as you wish and try it out with your students. Thank you, Stephanie Squad.